right, class of 2024, we know right now we are going through a lot of changes and unaware of when we are coming back to school. We want to make sure that when we do come back, you guys are familiar with our campus. So I'm going to introduce you to our tour guides for the day. Hi, my name is Sophia Duran and I am your student body president. Hi, I'm Carlos Barcelo and I am your student body vice president. Hi, I'm Melanie Ramirez and I'm student body treasurer. Hi, I'm Cindy Everett and I'm your student body secretary. Hi, my name is Salo Contreras and I'm student body activities ambassador. I'm Luis Gilares and I'm your student body activities ambassador. Hi, I'm Savannah Gutierrez and I'm your student body representative. Hi, I'm Felisa Diaz and I'm your student body historian. So let's get started. My freshman year, the first thing I thought about Tucson High was how big the campus is, but it's truly not that intimidating. It just takes a little bit of time to get used to, and throughout this video, they'll be showing you around. The best thing to learn at the beginning of the school year are where the buildings are and where they're located, but don't worry, it will help you make it a little bit easier for you to locate all the buildings. So this is the outside of the main building. The main building has three floors, and on the first floor is where the principal's and vice principal's office is, the auditorium. the counselor's office, the library, and the attendance office and the nurse's office is inside. And next to it is the E-Wing where you will have all of your music classes. And on the second and third floor of the main is where you're gonna have your history and English classes. And inside, the second and third floor of the main and the technology building is where you're going to find a bridge which can get you across to the other building quicker. Now I'm going to pass it to Mel in the technology building. So this is the technology building also known as the T building. This building as well has three floors. This building will have your math, science, and maybe some electives. For example, your performing arts and digital electives will be on the second and third floor, like dance, photography, graphic design. Tucson High is well known for a wide variety of electives, which you can find on our website. Now I'll be passing it on to Carlos in the vocational building. Hey guys, it's Carlos again, and this is the outside of the vocational building, also known as the B building. This building has three floors. The first floor has many career electives, including welding, auto collision, and many more. Here in the same and third floor is where you'll be learning your world language classes. Here at Tucson High, we offer Spanish, French, Chinese, and even sign language. We're already so close to training the big parts of our campus. This is the East Gym. This is the West Gym. This is the weight room. This is the entrance to Pocorico. This is the Pocorico room. Last but not least, we have your cafeteria where you can get your lunch. This is the outside cafeteria and these are where the lines form. This is the inside cafeteria and where the lines start. This is the finance office where you make sports fees, dance fees, prom, everything. This is our outside cafeteria area. In the summer, you're allowed to go in the cafeteria and sit in the shade where it's nice and cool. Um, you also have these options, they're nice and shaded too. And over here, under our main ramada, we have the vending machines. So if you don't want to eat lunch or anything, you guys can come pick up a snack. Thank you guys for joining us on this tour in hopes to make this transition a little easier. We hope to see you guys soon.